It's estimated that in the United States alone, doctors carry out half a million bone graft operations every year to replace damaged bone or help fractures heal. Most bone grafts are taken from the patient's own pelvis, but not only is this painful, there's also the risk of complications from surgery. Several years ago, surgeons began experimenting with coral as a substitute because of its resemblance to human bone, a discovery which doctors in Vietnam, with its abundance of tropical coral, are now beginning to exploit. Vietnam's waters are known to be a paradise for sea life, something these researchers from Japan hope to tap into. They're working with Na Chang's Marine Institute to study southern Vietnam's underwater kingdom. The Institute's Pham King Wang is on hand to assist his Japanese counterparts in their joint study of corals. Especially in Nha Chang Bay, this area around in this island, um, I think that uh, 355 species of the hot coral. In fact, the Marine Institute says few other areas in the region contain such a large variety of hard corals. And that's caught the attention of the medical profession. The reason? The structure of coral bears a striking resemblance to human bone, a natural coincidence that doctors are now using to their advantage in orthopedic surgery. It's here off the waters in Vietnam, where one particular species of coral has proven to be more than successful and cost-efficient for the procedure. This is Puritus lutea, the coral that doctors in Vietnam are using to replace damaged bone tissue and to change lives. A world away in Ho Chi Minh City, Duan Tan Duc is on the move. The farmer says it's something he took for granted before a spinal problem handicapped him. I felt pain all over my body. The pain was so bad, I wanted to die rather than live. After examining his x-rays, we discovered that the cervical bone in his neck was putting too much pressure on his spinal cord. The problem was getting worse. In 2002, Dr. Ziet removed Mr. Duke's offending neck bone and replaced it with a coral implant to relieve the pressure on the spinal cord. There weren't any challenges during the three-hour operation. Mr. Duk is just one of a growing number of patients who has undergone the innovative procedure. Now, he's able to enjoy the simple things in life again. My health has improved after the operation. I don't feel pain anymore. For instance, I can move my fingers and hands now. It seems incongruous that the credit for the farmer's renewed lease on life and others like him lies offshore. There were a few patients who had lots of questions about the coral implants. We have to explain to them exactly how they work and how safe they are. They then become more confident. It's only recently that coral has replaced human tissue in neuro and cosmetic reconstructive surgery in France and Japan. Traditional bone implants require tissue from other parts of the body or from those of a donor. Doctors believe the advantage of using coral is that during an operation, it eliminates the risk of contagious diseases such as hepatitis and AIDS, since the substitute is from a non-human source. And researchers say what makes the marine-grown implants in Vietnam unique is that the Poritis lutea species being used here has proven to be the most effective amongst a handful of coral types used elsewhere. Tran Quang Tao heads the Ho Chi Minh City Tissue Bank. The Ministry of Health funds the organization, which supplies Vietnamese doctors with made-to-order coral implants. Uh, usually we uh, take about uh, 10 minutes uh, for one, and, uh, but uh, based on time, we uh, have to uh, one hour, maybe, or more one. Or cutting, only cutting, yeah. For a longer piece, you yeah. have to spend more than one hour cutting it. Yeah. yeah. 
Special pieces are also made for craniofacial procedures, such as cheek replacement. The coral has also been tested for dental and optical applications. After pieces are designed and cut, they go through an arduous sterilization process. They're washed, soaked in saline solution, freeze-dried, and baked. Researchers say experimental coral implant operations have been safely conducted on 187 patients in the past two years. Neurosurgeon Vo Suan Sam carried out most of those operations. The doctor works at Chorei Hospital in Ho Chi Minh City, where he has performed more than four dozen coral implant procedures. Today, he's operating on Le Quan Tang. The 16-year-old suffered serious back injuries from a motorbike accident. Dr. Sam hopes the coral implant will reduce nerve damage in the youngster's spine. The first benefit is that uh, we don't have to make another, another surgery for uh, removing bone. Uh, the second, the coral implant um, stay in the patient's body for some more long time than the, the patient's bone. Not only are the risks of rejection reduced, the procedure is faster than traditional bone implant surgery. If we have to take a patient bone, it takes about uh, two to two and a half hours. But uh, if we have a um, coral material, coral implant, uh, it reduces about a half hour. Yes, we, we can do it faster. In Vietnam, Coral implants have proven to be not only effective, but also cost-efficient. In Japan and France, one piece of coral implant costs roughly 200 U.S. dollars. In Vietnam, the price is 30. The tissue bank says the government has paid for all the coral implant operations so far. Currently, the Ministry of Health is working on securing a patent for its unique implants that have recently received international attention. The tissue bank says Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand are waiting in the wings for the Vietnamese implants to become available commercially because of their successful track record and, most importantly, their low cost. Doctors, though, say Vietnam doesn't have to wait until then to reap the benefits of its latest homegrown product. After all, patients like Le Quan Tang are proof the country's special type of coral implants have already yielded returns that were once unimaginable. And that's all for this edition of Focus Asia. Please email us with any comments you have about the show. Our address is focusasia at startv.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Susan Yu. Goodbye.